Things are changing and you're wondering, how are you gonna stay motivated in real estate? Let's face it, we have been in an amazing market. You probably just got your license, you came in and you started running. You got calls left and right, and now everything has come to a halt. So how are you gonna stay motivated and how are you gonna increase your business now? If we have not met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. I've had the honor of coaching hundreds of real estate agents as they enter into real estate, they expand their business and venture into real estate investing. For the best in real estate tips, marketing, and investing, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified as we're posting new videos every single week. Let's talk about how you're going to keep your motivation even when people aren't calling left and right. Let's face it, we were pretty much like order takers over the last couple of years. Even if you were new in real estate, you had leads. I mean, people were complaining that realtors weren't even calling them back. And likely it's because they were so overwhelmed and so busy. A house would go on the market, it would receive 25 offers, tons of them over asking, and it was really about managing chaos. The reality is that was a really unfortunate time for people to buy real estate in some cases. I mean, when you have 25 offers and only one person can buy the house, that could be devastating if you're putting in offers week after week or even day after day. This brings me to my first point. There are buyers out there that had the dream of buying a house that gave up. They lost offer after offer after offer and really purchasing a house became something they weren't interested in anymore. What I'm saying is many people that once had the dream of buying a house need that dream reignited again. How motivating is that? You can be the person that brings that dream back for many, many people. Now I'm gonna share with you some facts. By the end of this video, not only will you be more motivated, but you will have a shift in mindset that you can now share with the community that you serve in. Think about it this way. In April of 2022, let's just say you had a buyer that was interested in a house that was listed for 350,000. Likely that house would have received 15 to 25 offers, somewhere in there. But even three or four offers, you're already looking at that house not only being listed at 350, but probably receiving offers in the 370 range or 375. Of course, these offers are coming with the buyer paying their own closing costs, paying the seller's closing costs, and what's called an appraisal gap, meaning if the house did not appraise for what it was listed for, then the buyer would bring the cash to closing. So essentially, this $350,000 house would likely require that buyer to bring about $37,000 to even close on it. And that's at 100% financing. If they had to bring a down payment, they would bring 37,000 plus their 3%, 5%, or even 20% down payment. That's a lot of cash. This scenario actually knocked out the normal first time home buyer. Let's face it, who has 30, 40, or $50,000 just sitting in their bank account to be used to buy a house? That's the market we were in. It looks like this, $350,000 house at 3.5%. It's just over a $1,500 mortgage, interest, and principal payment plus your 37,000 that you have to bring to closing. Now let's look at that in today's market. Let's pretend that prices didn't fall, even though they have. Let's take that exact same sales price in today's market. You'll be spending 350,000. Now you'll probably have a bigger house because prices have dropped. At 6% gives you a little over a $2,000 monthly payment with just your mortgage, principal, and interest. Now everybody looks at that it's a little over $500 more in a monthly payment. In addition to a bigger house, what this buyer got is all of their closing costs paid and the seller paid their closing cost and at 100% financing, they bring zero to the closing table. So now they get a bigger house, they get to keep their cash, they may have a little bit higher of a payment right now, but they're paying themselves, so they're paying their actual mortgage down, creating equity in their house, and they got to keep all their cash. Not to forget that your buyers actually have time now to absorb the process creating less anxiety and really the fun part, you know, searching for a house, 
buying a house and not having to worry about the anxiety of loving a home and not being able to buy it like many people were over the last couple of years. Let's look at another positive fact. You are a real estate advisor. Now you actually have time to advise and teach people about the buying process. And when they go out and look at houses, they're not having the anxiety that some of the buyers experienced over the last couple of years of falling in love with a house and then losing it because so many people are offering extremely high and they have the cash to close. These are exciting times for those that have been in real estate for a while, as well as those that are wanting to build their real estate business and succeed as a local realtor. One more fact of interest. Do you remember when the housing market increased back in the early 2000s? Did you know that the interest rates were hovering around six to 7% during that time period and people were buying all over the nation? That is a fact that should be motivating for you. The conversation should not be about increasing rates. Some of the people that you'll be talking to about real estate, they may have not even experienced buying a house over the last couple of years. So really, they're not looking in the rear view mirror. They're looking at today. Staying motivated is all about the lens that you choose to see your industry in. Look at your business as a brand new business entering into today's market. Brand yourself and focus on marketing the opportunities of the real estate industry. First time home buyers, investing in real estate to build long-term wealth, paying yourself rather than paying somebody else, investing in long-term financial freedom by purchasing homes for wealth building. There are so many opportunities in real estate. It's not about the time that you're in the industry. It's about how you see yourself and the opportunity of real estate. And let's face it, it's always been an opportunity regardless of what rates are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this information was beneficial to you. Please check out more of our videos and we will see you next time. Okay, okay, staying motivated. What do we do? I'm just gonna lean back and go like this, ready? Let me get you Did anything? Did it work? Did my feet work? Good? Yeah. Did my feet get in there? Just a